Warning, in compliance with COPA, this video is not intended for children. If you are a children, please exit this video immediately. Now, on to the video. For adults, proper adults, adults only, video. I got two words for ya. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda, the brand new Star Wars character introduced to us through The Mandalorian. I love him, you love him, everybody loves Baby Yoda, okay? If you don't love Baby Yoda, then there's something wrong with you. Ever since I first saw Baby Yoda, I've been thinking, how's he going to factor into the Star Wars universe as a whole? I was thinking how he could maybe possibly fit into Star Wars Episode Nine, but he would be way too young at this point. He's, what, 50 years old, and then he's still a, a uh, basically like an infant, like the size of a one-year-old, probably. Express.com article, Star Wars Nine: The Mandalorian Baby Yoda Shock Roll in Rise of Skywalker? Hmm? Why not bring Yoda back? Why not? If we're already bringing Emperor Palpatine back, Ghost Yoda was back. I forgot about that in The Last Jedi. Probably because I've been trying to block out The Last Jedi from my memory, but <laughs> I did forget that Ghost Yoda was in The Last Jedi, so uh, who knows? Are they going to bring him back for Episode Nine? Uh, this article says that they have a clue, so let's let's take a look at this. They're saying that Mandalorian will be wrapping its first series just in time for the movie to hit cinemas, episode 9. Uh, it's set decades before the events of the final sequel trilogy. However, Yoda and the mysterious new member of his race are extremely long-lived. Yoda was supposed to be over 900 years old at the time of his death, right? Suddenly, there are signs there, there will be a tantalizing appearance from another incredibly powerful member of Yoda's unknown species. Yes, their, their species is still technically unknown. It's no secret that George Lucas has kept the race of Yoda and Yaddle a secret from everybody, so oh, apparently only he knows. Well, I guess he doesn't know anymore because he doesn't own Star Wars anymore, but he kept that a secret. There is already strong suspicion the new character is actually a clone of the ancient Jedi Master. Clones have been a thing in Star Wars for a while now, so, I mean, that wouldn't surprise me, but how would he have gotten cloned? Not only that, but Disney Plus may have given a big clue uh, with the strangely altered release dates for the TV show. So this is really no surprise to me because of how um, Marvel has actually operated in the past. Their TV shows would go along with, if you've seen shows like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., they, they actually go along with the movies. Possibly maybe the direction that they're going to be going, even though, you know, it's episode 9, we already have a bad taste in our mouth. It still might be interesting to see how this show will fit into this new movie. The theory says the Mandalorian's release schedule feels like a deliberate hint that there's some kind of direct connection to Rise of Skywalker. They point out uh, the usually weekly interviews between the TV show's episodes are suddenly changed as the movie hits cinemas. Episode 6 is out Friday, December 13th. Episode 7 of The Mandalorian arrives just five days later on Wednesday, December 18th, the day before the earliest Rise of Skywalker screenings. Well, Thursday. I'll be going Thursday night to see it. I'll be, uh, I'll be streaming that. Look at that picture there man look at that oh man taking her rightful place in star wars history so skipping ahead here the new baby yoda is 50 years old and the mandalorian still an infant yes he's still a small baby uh the final movie is set around 25 years after the events of mandalorian he will be 76 years old right old enough to become an independent character i don't i don't think so because he's 50 and he's like one years old right human years 25 years what he'll be like one and a half right i don't i don't think he could be an, an independent character in star wars i don't know what they're talking about he like it says enough time will also have passed for the character to have started training in the force what 75 wait the new baby yoda is 50 years old the final movie Episode 9 is set around 25 years after the events of Mandalorian. That means he'll just be one and a half, right? Am, am, I, am I missing something here? The appearance of Yoda in The Last Jedi was a major shock. It also introduced new canon. Oh, yes, it, yes it did. I, I remember. Confirmation that Force Ghost can physically affect the living world. When he hit and ignited a Jedi tree with a bolt of power. Imagine the shock if a new Yoda character also appears. Bunch of ads, bunch of junk, junk, internet junk. Only 25 years have passed until episode 9 from The Mandalorian. I don't suspect that we're gonna see much Baby Yoda, I'm sorry about that. I think these Disney spin-off TV shows may just be their own thing, and that's, that's fine too because it's great so far, and I don't really want to get good Star Wars mixed in with, uh, you know, 
Last Jedi type Star Wars, okay? If you know what I mean. If you enjoy this video, I do these videos weekly. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.